Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Glad you're on a Monday here, um, 19 October. Tickety talkity, tickety talkity. Two weeks and a couple of days till the election. Um, if you look at the non commercial positioning data from the uh, CFTC, Euro is still pretty long. Um, and even though it's not the greatest of indicators, anecdotally, I also know many people who are long euro, who are short dollars, waiting for U.S. dollar to collapse, <clears throat> which I do think it will, um, just based on the metrics involved with the debt situation. Uh, and one way to get yourself out of debt, sort of in a technical way, is to devalue your currency. Um, has a lot of benefits for an economy. You, you know, it's a slippery slope, right? You want to devalue it, but you don't want it to plummet. You don't want it to pull a Turkish lira or a Lebanese pound uh, type deal, which of course the U.S. will not uh, will not do that. But a good 10 or 20 percent deval looks in the cards. But heading into the election, um, with this thing stalling. And also with Europe having its own problems, you know, tons of COVID cases, also crappy growth, debt problems. Um, perhaps Euro is not the horse if you want to be short dollars. Uh, maybe a basket is better, um, or maybe there's some other vehicles out there. Anyway, uh, over the next this week, probably and going to next week, there should be some sort of clear out of Euro longs. So we're kind of watching this. 116.85 is on the frontal lobe. But obviously the big um, stops are going to be below 116.10. So we're watching this. Uh, we're ready to act. Um, we won't be um, fading downside until um, we get maybe to 115 the figure. So this is kind of a tactical trade. We don't like being short euros. Uh, we don't think this is a trendy trade, uh, but we do think tactically there's some money to be made short. And then if you want to be a superstar, you take some of the short PL and you flip it to a long somewhere down at, at 115. Cable, uh, it's like a kidney punch combined with like hydrochloric acid in your ear uh, pretty hard to trade right I mean looks like it's done nothing but 129 60 128 60 129 45 128 90 bang 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 all of this are just news 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 bojo blow me whatever they are going to do a deal. It is going to get done maybe on like December 30th. Um, really hard to trade. Uh, I would stay away from it or at the minimum keep it light. Um, hard. Anyway, dollar Swiss, uh, sort of interesting. Coming up at this uh, 9160 level, hard to trade. Euro through uh, 116.85 is probably easier. Dollar yen is doing nothing. Um, I tend to wonder if this is going to be the horse for, for dollar negativity. But right now she is doing nada. Really nothing going on here. Triple top up there. 50. Not not sure what to do with that. Well, I do know what to do with that right now. Absolutely nothing. Uh, 123, the figure. If we go to the four hours, you'll see it a little more clearly. Is is of interest to us here. Um, these lows here could be kind of shoulder head, shoulder thing. Um, there will be risk down through this. This could be euro driven. It could be dollar yen driven. It could be both. 
uh, could be risk off, could be Italy blowing up. There's a million reasons Euro Yen could get crushed. Um, and 123, the figure, is like an interesting point to watch. Uh, Sterling Yen, no hope. Dollars are also no hope. Like, what, what's up with that? We had that nice bullish day through 58. And then we had the basically equally bearish reversal back down to 53. Here we are doing nothing. Um, now I guess we have to wait to see what happens at 72 on the top side. Uh, on the downside, 08 seems a bit far. I don't know what's up with dollars are. Should be a lot higher. But it's not. So that's that's information in in and of itself when something should be higher and it's not that's information right shit is not going up well dollars are at the moment dollar max same deal um, crude on the 41 dollar handle this looks like she wants lower 2084 I don't know maybe dollar weakness against EM somehow rears its head got to keep up got to be open minded um who knows Aussie not looking great a lot of sort of bad technical news on the Aussie China story um not really doing too much at the moment. We've been sort of sitting here 70, 50, 71, the figure for, for a couple of days now. 70 cents looks like it's in the cards. But if you're not already short this, there's not much to do today. Euro Aussie. Man, thought it was going to go on Friday. We traded up to 86, 165, 86. 165, 91 is a very important level. Um, this is now sort of pretty classic. It's This is sideways consolidation since June. I repeat, since June. Whether this resolves itself down through 160.34, which seems a little bit unlikely at the moment, or resolves itself up through 165.90, that chart is worth watching. Aussie Yen... Obviously, you can hear in my uh, stories here this morning, this should go lower. If you're bearish Aussie and you're bearish dollar yen, Aussie yen should go lower. But at the moment, she's just stuck. I want to sell some high ones up at 75 or something. I don't know. 95 was the high overnight. Gad yen, similar. Not much going on there. Euro sterling, avoid uh, Kiwi yen. Not really sure what to do with that. Kiwi also, not really sure. 27 was sort of the the bingo number. Really, 23 was, but there was volume between 27 and 23 on Thursday on the way down, on the trip down to 76. We're retesting that. Could we see some sideways? Yes. Um... Could we see Kiwi rise a bit? Very few cases. Uh, political, no political uh, uncertainty. I don't know, things look okay in, in, in New Zealand. Dollar CAD, no clue. Euro CAD, no one cares. ZB heading back down the bottom of the range. Core short this is the way. It's been tricky, right? It was tough to be short for two handles, 74 up to 76.10. But now here we are back again. This kind of just should go a lot lower uh, with the amount of debt that the U.S. has issued. Really ugly, ugly, ugly picture of that. Um, and the ramifications are, it's a horror show. Um, and 
one of the stories that are jumping through my mind is like sort of a a Ford Carter. So think of U.S. 1978. Um, well, let's call it 1974. Five to 1978, interest rates through the roof, New York City heading towards bankruptcy. Um, stable but weak hands. Let's call Jimmy Carter stable but weak hands at the wheel. Um, I really wonder. Biden, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's striking the similarities from that period of time. Uh, and I guess I should just remind all of you people, um, all you wonderful millennials out there, interest rates, you know, were 12%. The long bond went to 16 at one point. Um, there's a possibility um, that this could happen again in my mind. I know it seems far-fetched, but we'll see. Here's crude. Um, we talked about this sort of 4150, the real zinger high is 4172. Uh, we got nothing going in crude, but if we get above 4150 and close above it, that's bullish. How it stays up there, I have no idea, with a lot of more supply coming online globally. And I think just demand in general is going to be impaired for a while. Equities, not doing anything. Bearish close on Friday, but for the week, basically, we're flat. Kind of squeezed up to 87 today, near the hourly. So this is the Friday, last two hours, 40 handles. Now we've squeezed back up to 87, which was kind of the breakdown point. Not sure what to do with, with uh, ES. Um, so we're just leaving it alone for now. Anyway, uh, watching this 116.85 in Euro dollar, watching uh, 123 the figure in Euro yen, and of course, if things go tits up, we'll be watching the Euro Aussie topside. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.